In Asia, a rising China is asserting itself. And America is responding. Red lines are being tested by Beijing. And some have suggested the US, weakened economically, is in decline. But Joe Biden, the vice president of what is still the sole superpower, was here to deliver the message. America isn't ready to see the status quo redrawn. The new model of great power relationship envisioned in the 21st century between China and the United States uh, requires us to uh, expand our practical cooperation and uh, deliver results. China's leaders, emboldened by growing economic strength, are adopting a more nationalistic tone. This is the issue they've chosen, the Senkaku Islands, specks in the sea, controlled by Japan, but claimed by China, which calls them the Diaoyus. For months, China's been sending ships to probe Japan's resolve, flexing the new naval forces it's building. The islands lie far to the southwest of Japan. For decades, it's had an air defense zone covering the area. Then last week, China announced its own zone overlapping Japan's, demanding aircraft here now follow Beijing's instructions. Ignoring China's move, America sent unarmed bombers through the zone, a fly pass to signal the US is serious about its obligation to defend Japan. But unwilling to lose face, China responded by scrambling fighters, the risks of a mid-air collision rising. America is concerned about what it calls a growing pattern of behavior by China, one it believes is stirring up tensions in Asia. And that matters, because one small incident over these disputed islands could trigger a far wider crisis, drawing in China on the one side and America on the other. China says other nations have air defense zones, so it should be allowed one too. Why has China chosen to take this action now? It is a zone for cooperation, not confrontation. Japan is the one making irresponsible remarks, escalating tensions. Japan is the one that dispatched ships and planes to disturb our normal training. And that's Joe Biden's problem. China's relations with many neighbors are not good. Even if tensions are defused now, what's happened is a warning that disputes over islands you may never have heard of could one day lurch America and China into a serious confrontation. Demi Grammaticus, BBC News, Beijing.